So my name is Philip King and I work at the ISIS Pulse Neutron and Muon Source. I'm the leader of the Muon Group here. I also look after the ISIS user program, and, uh, but uh, it's about muons I guess today. So it's a very good question, what is a muon? And muons are slightly odd because they're not part of the normal stuff of matter around us. Neutrons, you chip them out of atoms because they're found in the atomic nucleus. But muons aren't, and that means that we have to make them specially. Um, uh, so we make them by firing a, a proton beam at a target and out of the collision, you get muons. Um, but what, what are muons? Well, normally an atom, well, an atom is made of protons and neutrons with electrons going around it. And muons can be thought of as heavy versions of the electron. So they're, they're kind of electrons with a little bit of a weight problem. Um, and they, uh, the other thing that's odd about them is they only live for two millionths of a second. So electrons, they live for as long as, as, as you like. But muons, if you make a muon, you've only got it for two millionths of a second. And that sounds a really short time, but actually it's ages. We can do a lot of stuff in two millionths of a second. Hello, uh, I'm Adrian Hillier. Uh, here at ISIS, we are a pulsed neutron and muon facility. Um, muons are produced by the extracted proton beam coming down and hitting a small graphite target. Uh, at this target, we produce uh, pions and these decay into muons. We take about 5% of the uh, proton beam at the, the muon target and the rest then continues on and produces neutrons at the neutron target. So we make our muons and we fire them into some lump of stuff that we want to study. It's kind of hard to get information on atoms directly, but we send muons in. The muons can mingle amongst the atoms deep inside a material and they can get a feel for what those atoms are doing. They can get up, up close and personal with those atoms and they can tell us uh, what the atoms are doing. So that's what we, we use muons for. So we kind of use them, it's a similar sort of thing to what we use neutrons for exploring things at the atom scale, the small scale, muons just give us slightly different information from what neutrons do. So many people will use both neutrons and muons in their studies uh, on the same samples to get slightly different information about what the atoms and the molecules are doing. So what is it that we can actually study using muons? Well, uh, quite a wide range of, of, of materials. Muons are very good at looking at, uh, at magnetism, so materials that have unusual magnetic properties. They're very good at looking at superconductors, uh, and we can tell quite a lot about how the atoms are working inside superconductors, as well as some of the superconducting properties. 